Hey, what's cracking, everybody? On today's episode, I'm going to be looking at uh, Emma Bunta's Debian Edition 5. So they just uh, released a new uh, upgrade on it, and I got it up in a virtual machine. So let's go ahead and run through the installer and get it installed and take a look at Emma Bunta's Debian Edition 5. And the first thing we see on the screen is the welcome screen, and uh, it says, Welcome on Emma Bunta's Debian Edition 5. Thanks for trying our distribution. We hope it will meet your expectations. Numerous of, of accessibility functions are now embedded in Ubuntu, particularly aiming at the visually impaired persons. Note, with old or resource limited computers, we suggest you use the NXQT desktop environment, which is lighter than XFCE, the one installed by default. During login, you can select your environment at any time by clicking on the gear icon at the top right of the screen. If you want to use LXQT right now, select the left button. I'm going to continue with XFCE for the purpose of this uh, first look. So I'll do that now. All right. Currently, your keyboard map is US. Key, all right, desktop configuration. It's asking me about Cairo doc. I'll just say, okay. And uh, please select the doc version which best fits your needs. I'm going to select the one that's simple. All right, so now we have a dock right here on the bottom. Welcome to Emma Bunsen's Debian Edition 5. This distribution is made, with, is made to refurbish computers and let everyone discover the new Linux. All right, so the username is Emma Bunsen's. The user and root passwords are both live. So I'm going to close this down since we barely uh, want to get it installed. So let me first go to my settings and fix the display settings. And I'll set it to 1920 by 1080. Click on apply. Keep this configuration and close. So now that I got the screen resolution fixed, now I'll double click on this install right here. And it is going to use the Calamari's. So it says you wish to install Ubuntu Debian Edition 5. Two installation modes are available. The classic mode for a personal install or the OEM mode dedicated to system integrators. So I'll go with the uh, classic installation. And let's open up the uh, Calamari's installer. And then Ubuntu's 5 comes with Debian Bitworm. So I believe that's Debian 12. If I'm wrong about this, please uh, let me know in the comments. So American English, click next. My location, Los Angeles, click next. Uh, keyboard layout, English, default, click next. I'll select erase disk. And I'll do a swap the file, which is not required, but it's just a force of habit for me. Click next. Now I have my user info. Then give it a strong and complicated password. And then I'll select the login automatically. All right. And I'll click on install and install now. And it's installing now. So while this is installing, I'll go ahead and pause the video. And when we come back, you know the drill. We'll reboot into Emma Bunsen's Debian Edition 5. All right, the installer is done already, and that was pretty quick. It only took like two or three minutes to install, so uh, we'll go ahead and reboot into the system so we can take a look at uh, Emma Bunta's Debian Edition. And we are now rebooting into the system, and we get the welcome screen again. Welcome on Emma Bunta's Debian Edition 5. Thanks for having installed our distribution. We hope it will meet your expectations. And you got some other info here. And same as before, I'm going to continue under XFCE. So, again, I'm going to go fix the uh, screen resolution. So, before I read anything else, I'll look at any of these welcome screens. Let me get back to the uh, display and get a proper set in here. All right, there we go. Keep this configuration. Now I can close this. All right, the first one that pops up says desktop configuration. So, it says, please select the application menu version that best suits your needs. And right now, it's on whisker menu. So, if I click on the menu, See right here, this is the whisker menu. But you can also use the classic menu. I don't know if that switched it on the fly or not. No, then I'll probably have to click on OK. And then please select the screen saver of your choice. So I'll just leave that alone. Please select the wallpaper of your choice. And I'll just leave the wallpaper alone. So I'll just leave everything as default for now. Now we got another screen that popped up, Cairo Doc. So it's the same as before about uh, activating the docs so it can show up on the bottom. So I'll just click on OK. 
and then I'll keep it on the simple one click OK and now we have the dock on the bottom all right non-free software installation would you like to install non-free software on the system no you will be able to install these non-free software later on by going to the applications menu icon at the top left then non-free software warning the packages proprietary codecs you are about to install are not supported by the Ubuntu or Debian developers communities and might be illegal in some countries. Since I'm just doing the first look, I'm just going to skip that for now. That way uh, you can have this uh, checked off that way to open up again for you if you don't decide to do it right after install. So I'm just going to leave it alone for now. Let's see if we get another window and we do language management. So we got some here that are checked off. Please select the languages you no longer need. So I think everything is unchecked except for English. So I'll just click on OK. See, do we get another window? And right now what it's doing, it's removing the languages that I don't need. So while it's doing that, let's uh, take a look at our system. And this is the uh, XFCE desktop environment. In this case, we have the panel on the top. So the panel, it still has the uh, system tray over on the right. And you have your uh, menu and uh, your taskbar right here on the left. But the taskbar, it just keeps spreading across depending on how many windows you open up. And we do have the uh, whisker menu. So right here we have favorites, recently used, all applications, accessibility, accessories, Cairo doc, development, education, games, graphics, internet, multimedia, no free softwares, office, science, settings, and system. All right, so the buttons down here are for log out, switch user, lock screen, and then you got your system settings. And then you also have a search right here. And that's your uh, application menu. All right, so down here on the dock, we have a dustbin, log out, shortcuts applications menu show desktop workspaces help accessibility maintenance utilities education interest bum photo video audio office communication firefox and home so let me see what this uh application menu opens up all right, so it looks like the uh, classic uh, menu for uh, XFCE is what it opens up. At least that's what it appears to be. And there is an about right here for XFCE, so we'll click on it. And you got your system info about. You scroll down so you can look at it. And you got your credits, Debian, and copyright. All right, so we have another uh, window that opened up. It says CT Parental Software Installation. Do you want to install the parental control software, CT Pan Parental? in your computer so this is for uh you know like it says right here parental control so if you want to set up your computer for a child you can pretty much set up your uh parental controls right here so i'll just click on cancel all right and then we have another welcome screen welcome to ubuntu debian edition flyer this, is, this distribution is made to refurbish computers and let everyone discover the new linux so we have tutorials, Debian handbook, Debian reference, tools, settings manager, software center, forum, videos, and contribute. All right, so that's pretty much a, it's just a XFCE desktop on top of Debian. But uh, let's open up the Firefox uh, web browser and open up the uh, Emma Bunce's website. And it looks like it's in, uh, oh, now it's in English. It opened up, it looked like it was French but uh it automatically switched to english so all right so let's see emma buntus an all-in-one GNU linux distribution this distribution was designed to facilitate the reconditioning of computers donated to humanitarian associations in particular to the ms communities hence its name and to promote and to promote the discovery of GNU linux by beginners 
but also to extend the lifespan of the hardware to limit waste caused by overconsumption of raw material. Ammo buntus is used for the reuse of computers by numerous associations and plants in Africa. So this is one of those systems that you can use that's uh, pretty lightweight for uh, older uh, computers. So pretty good system to use. If you have a you know pretty dated computer that you want to bring back to life, I would imagine you would put this on there and it would uh, make it feel fresh again. So uh, I'll go ahead and I'll post this link down in the uh, video description. That way, if you want to take a look at it, you can take a look at it yourself and uh, read through it. But since I got Firefox open, let's do what we usually do and take a look at the about. And on the about, it is the uh, extended support release 115.13.0 ESR. Usually you'll see the ESR on uh, Fedora and Debian. Let's go ahead and close this browser. And let's see, let's go through these. So we got shortcuts right here. Let me click on shortcuts. So it uh, just looks like you got your file system, DVD ROM, virtual disk. Nah. All right. And then you got your help. Let's see what the help looks like. So you got various links right here. You got free software, Wikimedia Foundation, OSM Wikis, Price Computer, Chainmail Bunces Doc Level, Languages, Welcome, Debian Help, and XFCE Help. All right, now accessibility. All right, so you got your some system settings on here. And then you got maintenance. So everything's pretty much set up in categories. All of these uh, dog buttons right here, they're all set up in categories. So if you click on one, it's going to open up pretty much a window that gives you other options. And I just did a video on Sweet Home 3D the other day. Glad to see they got it on here. Come on, and burn. <laughs> Earlier I read that as bum, but it's burn. X XF burn to be exact. And then you got photos. So they do have GIMP, GThumb, and GScan PDF. Under videos, let's see, we got VOC, and we got caffeine, free tube, and GUVC view. Under office, I don't see a LibreOffice. Well, there is a LibreOffice Star Channel. You know, let me go ahead and click on that. All right, so they do have a, pretty much the whole suite, it looks like. All right, that's, uh, that's a writer. They got calc. You got impress. All right, so then you got draw. So it does have pretty much the whole, uh, the whole suite, the whole LibreOffice suite. So pretty much everything is on here. All right, and you got your base. All righty, let's take a look at the about. And it is LibreOffice version 7.4.7.2. All right, and that is the old office. And then you got communication right here. This has a Thunderbird, Falcon, Pigeon, Fire Sharing, File Sharing Tool, Jitsi Meet, and Jammy. And the home button. I think this is going to open up your folder. And it does, your file manager. And under your file manager, I believe this is Toolnar, and it does say that right here. So you have your desktop documents, downloads, music, pictures, public, templates, and videos. And let's take a look at the about. And Thunar 4.18.4. All right, and there are other folders here that you won't see because they're hidden. They usually start with a dot and whatever their name is. But I believe if you click on Control H, and you can see right here, all the hidden folders that show up. Hidden folders and hidden files. Just something you didn't know. And if you want to hide them again, just do control H again. And it will hide the hidden folders. With a file manager like Nemo, you just right click and you can uh, just tick it so it can show the hidden folders and things like this. But for people that don't know, like Thunar, using control H will pretty much do that. Pretty much all file managers. It'll work on all file managers, or at least most of that probably on. And that is Thunar. So as far as software managers, did they have one of those down here? Let me take a look. Let me open up the menu and just search. 
Auto Club Mini 7s. We have a flat pack manager. We have a G Debbie package updater packages. Let me click on packages. All right, so there you go. This is a, uh, I believe this is a software manager, but let's take a look. Uh, excellent. Let's, let's do a Pluma. A simple text editor. All right, Pluma. There it is. So you would check it, and then you would click on apply changes, then give it your uh, password. All right, and I believe it's installing, and it is. You can tell by this uh, progress bar right here. And, all right, it seems like Bluma is installed. So let me go to my uh, applications menu, and then we'll do a search for Bluma. And there it is. And it's just a simple text editor. So that's all it is. All right, I'm going to close that. Close without saving. Now, is there an about on here? Let's see. About. And about packages. Packages 43.0. Package manager for GNOME. Well, this is something new. I've never seen this uh, package manager before. And it's just called packages. So, uh, all right. It's pretty cool. I've never seen it before. This is my first time seeing it. So, hey, you learn something new every day. All right, and let's take a look at the terminal. Let's go on here. There it is, terminal emulator. Let's see, are they using the XFCD terminal? They are. And it is version 1.0.4. Let's see if it comes with HTOP out of the box. And it does. Right, just zoom that in for you. So we are using one gig of memory, zero on the swap, and the load averages are 0 0.57, 0 0.45, and 0 0.30. That's H top. And do they have NeoFetch? No NeoFetch is installed. Let's see if we can install it by using sudo app install NeoFetch. Give it your password. Should be a quick installation, but we'll see. All right, it's installed now. Let me go ahead and clear the screen and do a Neo fetch. All right, there you go. It is using Debian 12 Pokemon. All right, so uh, Emma Bunces, that's Debian Edition 5 with Debian 12 bookworm. So like I said in the beginning, there's two desktops you can use. It's either XFCE or the NXQT desktop environment. The choice is completely up to you. If you are using this on an older piece of software, not older piece of software, on an older computer, then I would suggest using the NXQT uh, desktop environment because it is a lighter and it'll run faster. But uh, yeah, everything works on here. It works on here good. Uh, it's a pretty cool system. Like I said, they just released an upgrade to it, an update for Emma Buntus. So that's why I downloaded the ISO to take a look at it. And from what I see, everything pretty much works. And it comes with a lot of software. So you got everything on here. You got your LibreOffice. You got plenty of uh, video, audio software, imaging software. And if it's not on here, you can just download it or install it yourself. You know what I mean? Using the package manager or a uh, app but uh yeah it's a pretty good system so if it's something you want to take a look at like i said i'll have the uh all of the uh, links down in the video description that way if you want to download it and test it out you can do so just remember uh always test it in the virtual machine before you go bare metal with it because uh something out here may not be up to your liking and it'll just leave you mad so you don't want to do that all right so remember test it in the virtual machine before you go bare metal all right you guys that's going to do it for this video and i'm out